Guys, we got a brand new truck on the channel. Well, it's a new to me truck. It's not brand new, but it's brand new to the channel. This is 1966 Deuce and a Half. We're gonna call this thing Hercules because it's got a Hercules motor. The reason why it's called a Hercules motor is because it literally runs on anything you throw in a fuel tank that is combustible, like diesel, gas, transmission fluid. I can change the oil in this and literally pour the oil in the fuel tank and it will run perfectly. So what we're gonna be doing with this, we're gonna be restoring it. I bought this truck to flip, but I think I might end up keeping it. This isn't to replace any Humvee or anything like that. This truck, we got a bunch of stuff ordered. We have a brand new turbo, we have a deep water Fording kit. Everything will be waterproof. So the tires and wheels that are on this, 39 and a half inch tire with a 20 inch wheel. We are putting a two piece M wrap wheel on it. We gotta take these things apart, paint them, put them back together, and then mount these big 46 inch military tires and then get them on this truck because every short guy loves to lift the truck. Today, we're gonna take this top off, get this whole truck sanded down, cleaned up, and get it ready for paint. So it's a deuce and a half. I don't need any kind of fancy paint jobs. We got Rust-Oleum flat brown, so I'm colorblind. But I know this is brown, this is green, that's black and black. We're not gonna do anything fancy with it. We're just gonna get the outline and paint it. That's all we're doing with this truck. I got most of it scraped off. My hand's hurting. The driver's side isn't done yet, but this side's done, so we're gonna go ahead and get this side painted. Like I said, it's a fun truck. It's not a show truck. That looks like red galore, man. I know. Do you even know what you are doing? I got runs all in my paint. Chase, that's supposed to be black. Hunter said it was green. I mean brown. So we've got a colorblind guy doing paint by numbers over here. Damn right. Look how running everywhere. Graham's like, I don't give a fuck. It ain't my truck. <laughs> <laughs> You've already ran the fuck out of it. Right, catch the edge right here, like that. And then you want to go around the air cleaner right here. And then you want to go around that edge right there. Draw pictures of dicks. Not my truck. <laughs> I'm done. This is my air breeze. I got this big old thing. I have to take this big mushroom piece off. This slides over the intake. I got that little strap that will strap from the exhaust. To here and that way I can go on the water all right so explain what we're doing we got these 20 inch MRAP wheels these are a two-piece wheel I gotta take all these lug nuts off and then this piece comes apart just like this this piece comes apart and then you have the rubber o-ring that goes around it which is this right here all the o-rings on these wheels are bad we had to replace all of them and now this wheel's already been sanded and painted black what and we're picking these big ass 40, I think these are 48s or 46s. Y'all go ahead and laugh at me because this is probably gonna whoop my ass, but I have to get it on there. I don't want help from anyone. I mean, that wasn't that bad. So now we'll take this. Oh, I gotta warm the valve stem up. Right there, you gotta flip it, yeah. So it kind of looks good with the tan in the center like that. I like it. So now I guess you know what you could have done. What's that? The black lip like that with the green. Still can. I could tape it off. That could be kind of dope. So that truck, we tried to paint it, and you can tell the paint kind of got brown, black. Then we tried like four different greens. It did not work. So last night I ended up tracking down the correct green. It's called 383 Substitute Cart Paint, with the same color as the snorkel. So now we're gonna. I ordered like 10 cans of it. We're gonna be able to paint all the green to make it matte. You know, it'll be uniform across. We may do the green right here. I'm just curious as that, if that's how easy it is. But I wonder if I can just, I've seen them guys where they take a... Uh, yeah, you take like brake fluid and yeah, then... Yeah, brake fluid, spray around it, back it off and light it and it blows up. Which is probably what I'm gonna do because I'm not gonna sit here with air and try to fill it up. And frankly, that'll just be fun. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
We like sketchy shit. Morning, Jamie. Isn't this kind of what you wanted? Morning, oatmeal. Where's your banana? I had to quit eating those chase. You started staring at me. Started <laughs> <laughs> I had to start eating it like corn on the cob, like a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie makes eating bananas interesting. <laughs> really big bites. So, if I'm thinking correctly, when I drive all these nuts on, it should create a seal between the O ring and the other side of the wheel. That should be it. Just fill it up with air. Graham said it's easy. I've never done it before, so I guess we'll see. Graham said they seat their cell. I don't know, I've never done this shit before. Hunter recommends doing brake cleaner and a lighter. Flip it up, flip it up on it, so let me make sure. Oh my God, this thing's heavy. Uh, you know these, the 14, kick that wheel, kick it through. Yeah, right there, thanks. Beautiful paint job. The 1400s are a little bit wider. Wider. You pushing against me? Yeah. Oh. I think it's taking in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Done. Now, uh, I could probably go ahead and mount and balance these wheels. I keep saying balance like I can balance. Come on, Hunter. Got an adventure to go on. This place is like a junk car for military trucks. Like anything you need or want. It's five ton. It's my next purchase. I mean, the turbo charger, too. See you guys at the shop. All right, guys. Mechanic lesson 101. So, I am about to do something I've never done in my entire life, and that is change out a turbo. I told you guys before, I like building trucks. So I'm not mechanically inclined. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna ask Graham to help me out. So Graham is not gonna help me. This is just me 100%. I'm changing the turbo because he is a Whistler turbo. So it's like a 6.0 on steroids. Sounds really nasty. First things first, when I'm looking at it, mount it in here. I noticed that I don't know what it's called. You guys can leave a comment below. Hunter mentioned something, but this needs to be on the top. Clock the turbo so that the oil feed is on top. And so you'll have to move the exhaust housing and then the turbo housing. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing, but Hunter said it's called clocking. So I'm just going to start taking stuff apart until I can figure it out. I say, let's see, it's uh, like 12, 10. 12.24 right now. Let's oh, see how wow. long it takes me to do this whole thing today. But regardless, it's getting done today. All right, so I've been working my ass off. Got everything on the hooks, and I have four bolts from the turbo manifold that were stuck on the block. Couldn't get them off, so I had to ask help from Jamie. Finally got everything off, and it's only held on by these two hoses right here. Got this, and that one right there, but I've already loosened the clamps up, and it should just basically fall off, right? Hunter? Come on, baby. Oh, shit, I told you it was gonna be heavy. <laughs> this one was heavy. Well, I did it. Now we got that bitch off. We're gonna put this one on. I almost messed up bad. We got the turbo on the bolts in the back, and I totally forgot to put brackets for the lines on the top and bottom. So I had to take it back off, undo these from the old turbo, put these on. I got the bottom one, I'm about to put it on the here. And that way, when I put it up, I just gotta do the big stuff like the top of the turbo, the side, the exhaust, and then hook these up. I'll be done. Piece of cake. Six and a half hours later. Dude, you are having a bad day. This is what happens when you're short. You're leaning over, trying to put the turbo in, and your f***ing feet kick the thing back. <laughs> so, give you guys an eyesight. This is what was happening. I fell over, and I'm sitting there dangling like this. <laughs> I kicked the table, and it falls back over. 
Sweat equity, man. I'm trying to hurt get the camera so I can get credit for it. Hey, so uh, we finally- Case I, finally got this turbo on. Finally got the turbo finished. With no help. Yeah, Graham just kind of watched me. Now, let me show you guys what a Whistler turbo is. <laughs> But <laughs> you're supposed to cut pull the engine stop button to cut the engine off. I pulled a throttle button which locked it. How the fuck you did? Whoops. Got the turbo on it. Now the next thing we got these big wheels and tires back here. So tomorrow we're hitting these on. One thing I gotta get order these adapter plate go on like this. So I gotta get nuts and bolts for these, but I gotta have a special kind of nut and bolt. Apparently nobody has them, so we had to overnight them. $600 for some nuts and bolts for all six wheels. They are stupid expensive. This is the $600 nuts and bolt. We had 10 for each wheel, so we had 60 of them. We got it bolted on. Of course, we're still missing some. We're just making sure all this works. Now this wheel goes right here, but the only thing I have to make sure before I put everything on is these bolts and nuts clear this hub right here, which I think it will. But I would need help getting these on, so I gotta get Graham over here. This is a big ass tire, and I can't manhandle it by myself. But that gives you an idea of what it'll look like. Dude, that's a beast. Big truck for a little guy. Graham was all like, he told Hunter, he said, call me when Chase starts putting the wheels and tires on because it's going to be funny. What, it take me like 10 seconds, Hunter? And I had it on? Literally 10 seconds. What's the, what's the issue you're running into? We don't know what the fuck we're doing. Chase bought some M-wrap wheels to put on a deuce. So yeah, like, wheels off. Wheels off that. So it's like it's like someone buying a BMW two fifty wheels to put on a super dude or to put on like a yeah, Toyota. Is there a different in a difference in an F two fifty and a two fifty super duty? No, no same truck. Well super duty I technically actually didn't start until ninety nine maybe. The new bike so I don't know. How bad of an Comment idea? Comment below if you know when the Super Duty actually started. I know the Power Stroke started in 94. Man, what do you think? I wasn't going to tell Chase that the, these aren't, these are their left hand or right hand threads. So. How long did it take me to figure it out, Hunter? Two minutes. I ain't stupid. On these trucks, you, he all, goes, you always tighten to the front. got this deuce built the way I like it. It's got the 46 inch tires on it with MRAP wheels. Uh, got it painted, bigger turbo, snorkel. But we got one problem. We're, we're gonna have to end this video because I got a, about a three hour drive to go get another wheel. We have the passenger side wheel and tire and the passenger side tire is leaking air. So we need this truck tomorrow because we got a big recovery we're gonna be doing with it. If you guys wanna see something crazy with this truck, trust me, it is like what we're recovering is massive. <laughs> it's stupid, I don't know why we're doing it. <laughs> yeah, I bought it on Facebook for 500 bucks. I couldn't resist it, but I gotta go get me a wheel and tire. Let me know what you guys think about this dude. I gotta haul ass out of here, so we'll catch you guys tomorrow.